Uh, Oak Lemur, Don Dodge, John Hamm, and Julie Schoenfeld. Round of applause for the judges, please. Sure. Sure. Oh, uh, Bonjour. Uh, Bonjour, Loïc. Um, okay, so the rules are exactly as they were 15 minutes ago. Uh, I just want to quickly remind everyone um, there is, of course, the TechCrunch Disrupt Startup Battlefield drinking game. Uh, if you were playing in the last round, you're probably wasted by now, just purely on the number of times people said, that's a good question, and then didn't really answer it. So, um, okay, without, without further ado, let's uh, begin. I don't have a list of the, uh, I don't have my list of startups, so I'm just going to um, read off there, and welcome to the stage, Guild. Round of applause for Guild. Today I want to talk about a problem all of us have faced as professionals. Every single person here is talented, you have unique skills, yet when we go look for a job, we get reduced to this. Just another resume and a pile of paper. And all of us struggle with the same problem. How can I make myself stand out above everyone else? This is the problem Guild solves. I'm Shiroi Desai, I'm the CEO of Pack Labs. With me is Zach Gottlieb, he's Vice President of Products. And Guild is where social gaming meets career advancement for technology professionals. Professionals compete on Guild, connect, and advance their careers. So let's go, go take a look at it. I'm already logged into my Guild account. I've been active for a while. And I'm doing what I normally do every day. I'm coming in and looking at competitions that are offered on Guild. Competitions are sponsored by companies. They are low stakes. And we've set up a special one just for this demo right now. It's a couple of questions. I want to give you a flavor of what, a, what kinds of questions a competition can have. So we go ahead and get started over here. You get a sense. This is a brain buster, just types of things you can expect. And a second one is more of a coding question. Pretty hardcore, and that just gives you a flavor of different types of things that we can ask on competitions. We're going to answer that, and we're going to finish this competition. And I want to go to the leaderboard. I want to see how I'm doing in the Guild ecosystem. So we'll go ahead, look at the leaderboard. We see some recent winners, people who have won prizes. Scroll down, look at some stats on the system. But I want to see how I'm doing. And right now, I'm not doing really well. But let's go ahead and take a look at someone who is up there on the leaderboard. So here's uh, someone on the leaderboard. I can look at the certifications they've earned on Guild. I can see competitions they've participated and achievements that they have earned as well. OK. From here, I want to go to my profile. This is my career center on Guild. Here's my resume information, what you would expect on a profile. I can import it from LinkedIn or Facebook if I don't want to enter it all in. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go into skills. Skills is the heart of Guild. This is what truly differentiates us. Based on everything I do on Guild, Guild is recommending skills that I may want to add to my repertoire. I'm not going to do that right now. I want to go down and take a look at how I am ranking and rating in my Java skill set. So I take a look at my Java score here. It's based on some information I've put in. It's based on a certification that I've taken on Guild. We offer over 30 different topics and certifications. It tells me how I scored there, and I've earned a bronze badge, which I can take with me wherever I want. From here, I want to go to my dashboard. This is my activity center in Guild. I get feeds. Uh, I just earned an achievement. And I'm going to scroll down. And one of the things I notice is I competed in an Oracle competition last week. And apparently, I caught someone's eye because they're inviting me to apply to one of their jobs. I'm not going to do that right now. But I do want to go check out what jobs I can see on Guild. So I'm going to go into jobs. And when I go there, again, based on everything Guild knows about me and the jobs we have, it is recommending jobs that I should be applying for, where I have a good chance of getting an interview. So I'm scrolling through some of these jobs, and I'm going to go ahead and apply to one of them. So when I apply to a job, before I can apply, I'm actually getting some feedback. Guild is telling me what are some key skills that are important for this job, and how am I doing against those? And I see I don't have a score on one of these skills, but I'm going to go ahead and apply anyway. So I'm going to submit my application. And when I do that, I'm getting what I've always wanted from a job system. I want feedback. I want to know what are my chances of actually landing a job here or an interview. And it's telling me how many people have applied, how I rank, and most importantly, what can I do to improve my chances? 
So now you can see how Guild helps professionals advance their careers in ways that haven't been done before. Now let's go take a look at how does Guild help me as an employer. So I'm a hiring manager. I can come to my dashboard, look at my jobs. I could click on any one of these and I'd get all my applicants rated and ranked. I don't want to do that right now. I want to go take a look at the competitions I've sponsored. So I'm going to go ahead and look at the last competition I sponsored. It was a Java competition. This was sponsored by Sapien. I'm logged in as someone from Sapien. And I see that almost 3,500 people came and competed in this competition. I see some stats. But more importantly, I can go down and flip through every single person who participated, and they are ranked in how they performed. I can look at their skills. I can look at the professional background, where they went to school. And if someone really catches my eye, I can invite them. Now, they're passive job seekers, so the only way I can invite them is by sending them a message through Guild. I'm not going to do that right now. So now you can see how Guild also helps employers target and find the best people. So to recap, for professionals, Guild is a place to compete, connect, and advance their careers. Guild is free for professionals. We monetize by charging employers. And a really important point, Guild is a place for professionals and employers to connect directly. No third parties, no agencies on Guild. We've been in beta since May. We've had over 60,000 professionals sign up. We are launching globally today with some great launch partners and names. I encourage you to check us out at Guild.com. And for TechCrunch, we have a very special competition running. You need to put an invitation code to access it. I encourage you to go do that. And thank you. That was a uh, guild, everyone. OK, uh, Julie, thoughts on guild? Well, as somebody's hired hundreds of people, I think what I love about this idea is it's a great way to get rid of the, the people who interview really well but can't do anything. I recently hired somebody out of a pool of three people. She was probably the one that didn't come as high across as her interviewing skills, but when we gave her a case study test, she blew everybody away. So I really think you're onto something. I worry about the complexity of how many uh, customers you have to get, how much behavior you have to change in a corporation to get them to uh, use this tool. But I think you're onto a, a really strong idea. Thank you. John? I would say overall, um, I like the idea. I got it right away. I think there's a tremendous amount of innovation that you can um, leverage because it's job skill set across the entire market is so huge. I think when you go to market, you're going to have really only a few chances with employers because we've seen a few of these kind of you know, applications that are out there. It's really got to work from the HR department or the exec staff and the management team like from the get-go. So I think when you guys make that big push and go to market, like make sure that you guys feel really good about it. Okay. Okay. John? Great. I love the site. Very well designed. Lots of features. Uh, very far advanced when you compare it to Craigslist or Monster uh, or LinkedIn. Uh, I think your your site is better, but here's the problem: they have the audience, you don't. So, yeah. what strategy do you have to perhaps focus on a target market like software engineers? Or have you thought about how you're going to focus, Absolutely. dominate, and move to the next? Absolutely. I mean. Uh there's a bunch of things. If you notice, we talk about technology professionals right off the get-go. We are highly focused on that market right now. We do believe that over time we can branch out into other professional markets, but for now, very focused. Secondly, uh, you're absolutely right that you know, places like LinkedIn have the audience. And we actually see ourselves in many ways complementing LinkedIn as opposed to necessarily just com competing with them. There's a massive shift of dollars going on in this space. Dollars are moving away from traditional broad-based job sites. They're moving away from recruiting agencies and bricks and mortar onto social media. So we believe with this massive shift of dollars, there's room for more than a few players. And especially when it comes to someone like LinkedIn, we think the bigger opportunity is to really partner with them. We already speak talking to them about LinkedIn applications. So say more. How would you partner with LinkedIn? Uh, LinkedIn application is the you know, obvious way to go get started. Okay. Loic, how do you, congrats, over lunch. You. How do you think you're going to spread? Because I, I take it your marketing budget is limited. 
Um, LinkedIn has a huge user base. How do you think you're going to spread virally? Yeah, it's absolutely our strategy. You're absolutely right. We cannot outcompete someone like LinkedIn or Facebook or anyone else on marketing dollars. We're not going to attempt that. Um, this has to be viral, and I hope you got a sense of some of the things that we are doing to drive viral behavior. Competitions, competing, earning achievements. Uh, we have lots of ideas of adding more features that are going to get people to uh, you know, communicate more with each other, invite their friends. But we're treading a little slowly on this because the last thing we believe the world needs is yet another social network or professional network. Um, we're not how, get how, my point was more like how do you use the current social networks, like there are plenty of you know, things related to this on Twitter, or yep. Facebook. And we are so absolutely how do you, planning it on... It looks, looks to me a little bit like you're an island. That's what I, I meant. Right now, you're absolutely right. But, but the goal absolutely is, I mean, part of our development plan is Facebook apps, LinkedIn apps, mobile apps. You know, we want to leverage what's out there. Any other, any other comments how much, or concerns? What's your business model? How much would businesses pay to use this? Sure. Um, a business model, as I said, is to charge employers. Uh, we've been, uh, we have clients right now who are using it. We're not trying to monetize it really hard right now. Uh, we believe, you know, if you look at companies like LinkedIn that are out there charging $100,000 annual subscriptions, we, don't, we, we think you know, getting to that point is not unreasonable for us. Who would you say is your, is your competitor? Well, the obvious competitors are, you know, are going to be the job boards. Uh, you could say LinkedIn is a competitor, but we don't really view it that way. Um, the unknown, the, 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 what we're really going up against over here is where the majority of dollars are spent, which is the bricks and mortar agencies. And that's why we've chose, made the decision not to allow them on the platform. Because traditionally, we believe that job boards and others have made a mistake is they allow them on the platform and they become a large percentage of their revenue. And now you can't compete against those guys. Are you um, sure about that? Have you checked the numbers? Because in the tech space, most of the money is going to Craigslist, Monster, and uh, LinkedIn. Well, if you really look at, I mean, we've now, I've done a tremendous amount of research on, on this. I mean, if you really look at the whole recruiting space as a whole, professional recruiting is a $184 billion market. And the vast majority of the money actually goes into the large, if you look at a manpower as an example, or a deco, there are you know, $20 billion companies, Monsters is a billion dollar company. But that's outside the tech space. So is right. your first market where you focus on it's going the same to be pattern. tech or It's the same pattern. Okay, I've, Julie, some final words? What is your background and what is it about your team that's gonna cause this one to yeah. break through? Okay, um, so all of us have us spent a lot of years in the tech business. Uh, I spent 20 years in technology services. I was a second employee at a company called Sapient, and uh, I was chief operating officer there for 10 years, and I dealt with this problem every day. <laughs> okay, we're out of time. That's uh, Guild, yeah, everyone. Thank you. Okay, our, uh, our next startup appears to be prepared by pouring themselves a beer, which I, uh, which I think is remarkable. Um,